Docker is a tool that allows us to package our software applications with all of the necessary dependencies in a self-contained environment called a Docker image. We can then create instances of these images which run that code. And we call those Docker containers. They're called containers because like shipping containers, regardless of what's inside, they're standardized and they're gonna work everywhere. And this portability is one of Docker's key features. Docker images define what code runs in which software environment when you create a container. And the software environment includes everything that the container needs to run, from the application code to its dependencies, even down to the virtual operating system that runs on top of whatever operating system is actually installed on the host machine. What that means is that Docker containers will run in the same way on any operating system. No need to tailor your software to the OS. Because everything required for a container to start running, whatever software it contains is defined within the image, containers can be set up programmatically. And that means that there's no need for someone to configure them manually and no room for human error to be introduced. And because everything's defined in code and the image contains everything required for the software to run, containerized applications are very easy to scale simply by adding more containers. As a result, many of the world's largest software systems are containerized applications, and they work at scale simply by adding more instances to do more of the same compute in parallel. You might have hundreds of instances running the same image with the workload balanced between them. And that application might be an API or a data processing system or a machine learning platform used within the company. It can really be whatever you want. But these days, Docker is used pretty much everywhere and it's an absolute essential tool for any software engineer to be familiar with.